Welcome to the Blum Panel where I speak my mind and you can say yours. In a few hours, Arsenal is going to be traveling to Bramall Lane. Probably they're already there, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Against Sheffield uh, United. Um, Sheffield United currently are on the bottom of the table, so it's expected that Arsenal is going to be winning that game. But as we all know, Arsenal is a very complicated figure. They're a very unpredictable team. You never know what you're going to get with Arsenal Football Club. But really and truly, this is just a short video just to look at the injury list and the possibility of some players starting. As you can see on the screen right now, we've got Aubameyang on my right-hand side. And it's very obvious that um, he's not going to be playing today because um, he's got the flu, people. The flu. The flu is a very, very bad thing. You don't want to have it. I've had it before and it's all sort of headaches, a sort of fever. He's in no shape or form to play this game. And um, we're going to be missing him in this game. But listen... Is it really going to make any difference to Arsenal Football Club? Do you think Aubameyang not playing is going to make much difference? I don't know because um, the games that he's played that he's not really done much for us, the games that he's played that he's done much, the games that Lacazette has played and Lacazette hasn't done much, obviously the Slava Prague is a perfect example. Lacazette started that game, he missed a golden opportunity, he didn't really do much. He, Aubameyang came in, he looked a bit better than Lacazette. There's too much inconsistency in this team and... Because of that inconsistency, it's quite difficult for me to even predict who is going to win the game against Sheffield. But then again, I'm hearing that there's a potential that Sheffield is going to be without nine players. They're going to have about nine players on the injury list. There's a potential they're going to be lacking a lot of players. Apparently, Sheffield United right now, they are under the tutelage of um, someone called Hacking Bottom. <laughs> That's a very funny name, considering where they are at the bottom of the table. So, Hacking Bottom right now is... He hasn't won any game since he took over as the caretaker boss. And honestly speaking, on paper, I am not expecting Sheffield to beat Arsenal. But with Arsenal, you never know. So the question is, are we going to be missing Aubameyang in this tie, people? Do you think it's going to be a major blow to the side? Honestly, I am not happy for anyone to be having the flu. It is not something you want to experience. I wish him best of recovery. But is that going to make any difference whether or not we have Oba Mayang. And the next person on the injury list is Emil Smitro. Apparently, Emil Smitro played against Slavia Prague. He just came back from injury and now is back to injury again. I'm not entirely sure what sort of injury. I think maybe ankle injury. I'm not entirely sure about the, is the nature of his injury. But we're going to be with Emil Smitro. That's another attacking midfielder we're going to be missing. Listen, we had him in the, in the game against Slavia Prague. Yes, we created some chances. Not directly from him. He was, you know, in... In and out of the game, he, he had one of his um, worst games, I would say, in the last few months, um, Emil Smith throw. But then again, the chances were created, we just couldn't put them away against Levy Prague. So, I think this is someone we're going to be missing from the attacking, creative standpoint in the midfield. Who is going to be stepping in? We don't know if Odegaard is going to be fit. Apparently, Arsenal are sweating right now about his fitness. They aren't entirely sure whether or not Odegaard is going to be available for this particular game. And it is something that we are a little bit, a little bit, shall I say, um, wary of simply because we are lacking the creative department. And even when we create games or when we create, um, um, you know, um, what's the word? When we create in the final third, putting the ball away is even a bigger problem in the Arsenal team right now. And honestly, the whole team right now is just shambolic. But I don't want to go into this game with too much negativity. I'm just hoping that this guy is fit at least for us to have someone creative in the midfield. If he is not fit and Emil smith is not fit, there's a potential that Ceballos might be stepping in, in my opinion, to try and fill in that, that space and that void that's going to be left by these two players. But what do you guys think? Do you think Odegaard is also going to be missed? And the next person on the injury list apparently is Karen Tani. This is the only natural left back we have in the squad right now. And he's going to be so missed because I think he had a knee injury from the last game that we played. And um, from the last two games that we played in the Premier League, he got injured and he got taken off. Listen, this is a massive blow. I agree with the best player on the team this whole season. He's been very consistent with his runs, with his crosses, with his threat down the line, with his closing down players, even some of his defensive attributes as well. He's been one consistent player. Yes, he had some ups and downs, a few games. But when you look at overall, you know, let's just say, I don't know. Finger in the air. Let's just say 80% of the game, he's been above par, in my opinion. Maybe 20% is below par. I don't know. This is just based on my, you know, superficial analysis here. But 
I, I strongly believe that we're going to be missing this guy. I strongly believe he's one of the players that is really going to be a massive blow. But we've got Cedric Suarez there. Cedric, Cedric Suarez doing what Flamini did for us some years ago, filling in the left-back position. But then again, this is Sheffield United. We should be winning this game regardless of the team that we put out there. But like I said, Arsenal, I like the British weather. You never know what to expect. But what are your takes on these players that I've mentioned? And the last but not the least, Luis. We are already losing his leadership in the defensive line. You can see that we've got some good defenders in Gabriel. But in my opinion, there's some sort of lack of leadership. You see, there's something we fans need to understand. Football is not just about having raw talent and skill. It's also about understanding how to lead the line and how to manage situations. You need a little bit of experience in those situations. For instance, against Slavra Prague, there was proper lack of leadership at that back line. And that's one of the reasons why we considered very late. You can have a very good athletic player, um, a player that can read the game properly, but a player that is not mature enough to know when to manage games. Game management is a very, very big leadership quality. And I think this is something that Luis brings to the team. Regardless of sometimes that he becomes a bit erratic. I know he could be erratic sometimes. But I'm talking about the maturity to handle situations when it matters. From a game management perspective, from a leadership perspective, I believe he's someone we miss. He's got a knee injury as well. I don't know what your take is on his absence. But who will be your pairing in the defense, people? Who is going to be your pairing? Is it going to be Mari and... Um, Gabriel, obviously, those are two left-backs. You hardly see that happen in modern football. We've seen it in a few teams over the years, but you will hardly see two left-backs starting the games. And I've seen some people putting up the formation saying they want the two of them to be paired. People don't like holding that much, even if on paper, holding has had the most clean sheets in the team this season, which is ironic, isn't it? But it is what it is, people. What is going to be your preferred centre-back partnership for this game against Sheffield? And overall, what is your prediction for the game? I want you guys to tell me what you feel about this game and who you think is going to be winning um, the game against Sheffield and uh, between Arsenal and Sheffield United. It's your boy here, the Blunt Pony. Love us, be lovers, haters, be haters. And I'll be seeing you guys at the post-match analysis after the game. Stay tuned and make sure you tune in later after the game. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Cheers.